Good morning children. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe in your home. See children, do you know today which topic we are going to study? Yes, odd and even and predecessor and successor. See children, do you know what is mean by even numbers? These topics you were already studied in your second standard. See? Even numbers means the numbers which have 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8 in the ones place is called even numbers. Okay. The ones place digits are 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. Okay. That means even numbers can be put into pairs. Okay. Here we have one example. 1000. 438. Here the number in the ones place is 8. So we can say that 1438 is an even number. Another example is 3290. Here the digit in ones place is 0. So we can say that this number is an example for even number. Our next topic is odd numbers. Odd numbers means numbers which have 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 in the ones place is called odd numbers. Okay. Odd numbers that cannot be put into pairs. Clear? Yeah. Odd numbers cannot be put into pairs. For example, 3059. Here, the ones place digit is 9. So we can say that 3059 is an example for odd number. Next example 8731. Here the ones place digit is 1. So we can say that 8731 is an example for odd number. Now we have more examples. First one, 2054. My dear children, can you say, is it even number or odd number? Yes, it is an even number. Next one, 5473. Is it even number or odd number? Yes, this is an odd number. Then one more example, 4986. Is it even number or odd number? Yes, 4986 is an even number. Okay, now I hope these two topics, odd and even, is very clear to you. Do you know which one is next topic? Yes, predecessor and successor. Okay, predecessor and successor. So what is mean by predecessor? Predecessor is the number that comes just before the number. Okay. Just before the number. That is, predecessor is always less than the number. Always one less than the number. Then, successor. What is mean by successor? Yes. Successor is the number that comes just after the number. Successor is the number that comes just after the given number. That means successor is always one more than the given number. Okay. One more than the given number. So children, to get successor, you can add one to the given number. Okay. To get successor, you can add one to the given number. For example, 3164. Predecessor of this number is equal to 3164 minus 1. So we get 3163. Next we can find out the successor of this number. To get successor, you can add 1 to this number. So 3164. 64 plus 1 it is equal to 
3165. Now we have more examples. First one, 9479. So, predecessor is equal to 9,479 minus 1. That is equal to 9,478. Then successor is equal to 9,479 plus 1. That is equal to 9,418. Next example, 5,130. So predecessor, 5,000. 130 minus 1 that is equal to 5129 then successor is equal to 5130 plus 1 that is equal to 5131 okay now i hope you all have understood the topics that we discussed today see children now our first lesson is over Okay, what we were studying in this first lesson? Smallest and greatest number. Then, face value and place value. How to compare two numbers. Ascending order and descending order. How to form smallest and largest from the even digits. Then, even and odd numbers. Then, at last, predecessor and successor. Now I hope you all understood all these topics. Okay, see children, anyone have any doubt, please feel free to call me. I will clear your doubt. Okay, here I am adding one worksheet. That one you can download and work it. Okay, you can answer it and file it. And then also, here I am adding one test paper that you can attend and send it as handy. See, next chapter will started by linear map. Okay, so I am joined with you with the third lesson. Okay, children. See you. Take care. Thank you.